Hey everybody, just, just like you, I love a good story. I love a good plot in a movie or TV episode. And uh, I'm learning, and as we've talked about in, in this session, uh, I'm learning that uh, the best thing about stories are the plot twists. And as it turns out, your story will have plot twists in it. It will have moments where things happen unexpectedly. And I believe those are the most powerful moments. Uh, those moments are sometimes really cool, powerful moments where an unexpected relationship begins or an unexpected blessing, if you will, comes into our life. But more often than not, the plot twists end up being those cliffhangers where suddenly something very difficult happens a difficult circumstance, something maybe even tragic happens in our lives and we wonder how are we going to make it through. Those are the moments that are powerful because that's when we have to depend upon God. We have to have faith. We have to lean on Him. And it's for that reason that we come to understand your story and my story are all for His glory. Our stories are for His glory. Uh, he's writing our story literally to point people to him. And so because of that, you can make the argument that the plot twists that we experience in life, as difficult as they, as they may be, they're important and maybe even vital uh, for, for our lives. Uh, without those plot twists, we wouldn't even begin to have faith in God or see our need for him. So what I want you to do as a group is to take time to discuss a few things. First of all, what plot twists have you already experienced in your life? You don't have to think of anything too deep or too adventurous or too big, although you may have some very easy, really big ones. But as you feel comfortable sharing, share with your group just some plot twists that you've experienced, maybe specifically in the past year. Anything unexpected that's happened in your life. And, and what did you do to deal with that plot twist? How did you handle it? What happened next? After you share those things, take some time to talk about the idea of the plot twists that can happen in life that are just very, very difficult. And answer this question. Why is it difficult sometimes to have faith in those moments? I mean, we talk about it right now, like it might be easy for me to say, yeah, just have more faith in the midst of your plot twist, depend on God. But once those plot twists actually happen, it's a new game. It, it is a game changer because it's like, wow, I didn't see this coming. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to feel. I don't know where to turn. Uh, it's all fun and games until it gets real, until we have to really apply this in our lives. So talk about what makes this difficult. Why, why is it difficult sometimes to really have faith, to, to really deal with the plot twists of our lives? Uh, another thing I would love for you to discuss is to just talk about what plot twists maybe you're facing right now. What unexpected thing has maybe happened recently in your life, like currently right now, if you could name one plot twist that's right now in front of you, what would it be? And as you share those, those become prayer requests. Uh, as you begin to close in prayer at the end of your meeting together, make those things you specifically pray about. Uh, pray for them by name. Um, I love our passage today, uh, Ephesians 3, specifically verse 20. I want to read it for you again. It says, Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. There's so much in that verse. But the thing I'm reminded of is he really is able. God is able. And I know you got to hear the stories of folks who went on mission trips this past summer. Uh, I got to be on the New Orleans uh, team, and I, I probably didn't share this fully in my sermon even, but there was a couple of times we almost canceled the trip. We met with so many obstacles, so many difficulties, just getting ready to go on the trip that I just assumed maybe God didn't want us to go on the trip. Actually, James Welch, the pastor of Harbor Community Church in New Orleans, I credit him to letting God use him to keep us on that path. He told me, he said, our city is so lost, the enemy is so at work here, that this is common. So many people cancel mission trips and don't come because of the same 
obstacles that you end up facing too. So please don't refrain from coming. I promise you if you'll come and you show up, God will use you guys. And he was correct. God removed obstacles. God opened up doors that we didn't expect. And it was pretty powerful. And I was just reminded of the power of prayer. We had some really good prayer warriors on our mission team. And boy, oh boy, it reaffirmed to me how little of faith I often have. That even though I believe in prayer and I pray, there's times when I'm just like, I just don't think this is going to work. Uh, and boy, I'm reminded we have a God who moves mountains, and he has a plan to glorify himself in our stories. And so therefore, there will be plot twists. There will be impossible situations that we will face in our lives. And then the question is, will we give our plot twist to God and say, okay, God, you are a big God who is able to do everything, anything he wants. So we hand this to you. As you discuss in your group, uh, take time to pray. And expect God to do immeasurably more than you could ask or imagine. Thank you for meeting together as a small group. Thank you for being a part of This Is My Story and sharing your story together. And now, let's get ready for God to write His story of His glory in our lives. God bless you guys.